Well, it's probably the most alternative, interesting proposition I've ever had uh, in terms of people who wanted to associate with design in Durban. We've been going for 20 years and I received a call from the guys at Pernod Ricard in London who suggested that they needed to talk to me, they wanted me to be involved in a campaign with them, which immediately I thought, well, you know, I'm not exactly the ideal candidate to be featured in the campaign. Uh, I definitely have a face for radio. I thought, well, um, it's not my shtick, and uh, I, I much rather am a behind the scenes maker and doer as opposed to somebody fronting up. And I ignored it. And they sent me this missive some weeks later, which basically said, essentially, this is why we want you. We think the world's a bit broken. We think the system of how we do business needs to be re-engineered, needs to be re-looked at. I think we've lost empathy in business. And I think what we're needing to do is to be able to create an advocacy campaign to bring out more people who are going to do business, not just for profit, but to business for impact, business that could improve the world. And when I heard that, I mean, I thought, well, this is mana from heaven. This is exactly the kind of project that we've been involved in with Design in Double for 20 years. And I basically said instantaneously, okay, where do I sign up? And it became even more wholesome when they said, listen, we're going to do this in a way that there'll be no cheesy photographs of you drinking alcohol. It's really going to be about an exhortation that says to the next generation of entrepreneurs, go out there, express yourself, come up with your new ideas, and take a whole lot of people along with you. And I love that, and I joined them immediately, and, uh, and they become partners of Design in Darba. And one of the best things I've done in, in recent times was to appraise all of those wonderful proposals from young South African entrepreneurs who've been su submitting their ideas of what they were going to do with their uh, uh, own ventures. And we were quite unanimous in the one that won. Uh, we're going to make the announcement shortly. And I'm very excited that a young South African entrepreneur even if they don't win the ultimate prize of a million dollars, is going to get to San Francisco shortly and is going to have a very deep, immersive experience in possibly the epicenter of startups in the world and will hopefully you know, really be enriched by the experience and will come back here and share it with their peers. But the, most, the nicest thing is a relationship with a brand that wasn't started with advertising, wasn't started with the size of my logo, wasn't started with promotion, uh, wasn't about a event. Essentially, it was about an advocacy campaign to say, how can we make a dent in the universe? And I'm very glad to be part of it. Money. What is it good for, if not for doing good? Some people only understood making it for themselves and those they know. But they've had their go. Now this is we, being the change the world wants to see. Designing Dove is the biggest creative platform in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's a wonderful, powerful agent for change. This is chivalry. Living not as them and us, but we. The social impact of the business has been just as important to me as the success we've had. See, the world is changing. We're not complaining. The old system had its day. We do success our way. We are doing well, and we are doing good. It's not business as usual. It's business as it should be. So improve the lives of others. Don't avoid their eyes, make them your brothers. Realize their dreams and feel the joy of what they achieve. Give and receive. Make your potential their potential. Make character an essential. Dare enough to let your actions say, this time, we win the right way.